New tonight at 10 o'clock, we're taking you inside a lab at the University of Montana, Missoula, where researchers are prepping military personnel for extreme weather. NBC Montana's Jacob Owens shows us what they're tracking. When people think of the University of Montana, liberal arts may come to mind, or even the school's wildlife biology program. But how about research funded by the U.S. military? The university's Montana Center for Work Physiology and Exercise Metabolism within McGill Hall has been working with the military for decades. And after receiving nearly $9 million in grants, the center is exploring how physically active men and women adjust to extreme environments. So the, the thrust of both of those studies is to focus on environment, sex, hard work, and adaptation and how all that stuff intermingles to impact the, ultimately the performance of the warfighter and these other occupational individuals or operators. The center's examining how individuals adapt to high altitudes, hot and cold conditions, as well as how to monitor them. Researchers are also exploring the effectiveness of remote sensing devices. Following military personnel in the field can be hard, so the center often uses active individuals as stand-ins, like wildland firefighters. They see it as, if we can collect this data unscripted in the real world on actual fire assignments, it's an easy handoff to give to them to say, well, the energy demands of wildland fires 4,500 to 6,000 calories a day. That's about what a special operator deals with in really aggressive situations. It's not uncommon for researchers at WPEM to participate in the work being done, like graduate research assistant Alejandro Rosales. Usually what that does is help us configure the protocol to make sure that it's ethically okay, um, it's doable, meaning that it's hard enough to answer the question that we want, but it's also um, going to be passable. Like, we can have folks do it and they'd be able to reasonably finish it. The lab's environmental chamber is where researchers can simulate different temperatures and humidity levels. There are also barometric pressure chambers to simulate different altitudes. And when it's time to get out into the field, the lab has solar-powered trailers. I mean, that's where fires are fought, that's where battles happen, that's where most competitions happen. They, these don't, things don't happen in a lab. So you gotta be able to be a little bit more aggressive and put your neck on the line and get out into the real, real field. Research in Alaska is expected to begin this fall. Reporting in Missoula, Jacob Owens, NBC, Montana.